Well, a statue of Canada's first prime minister has been removed from a downtown park in his hometown. <laughs> Cheers from a crowd of dozens as crews removed the statue of Sir John A. Macdonald from City Park in Kingston this morning. Council voted this week to move it from the park because of Macdonald's role in establishing Canada's residential schools. It will be placed in storage before being moved to the cemetery where Macdonald is buried. CTV's Kimberly Johnson has more now from Kingston. Kimberly. That's right. As you can see behind me, the Sir John A. Macdonald statue is being placed on a truck as we speak, and it will be taken to temporary storage. This is the moment it came off of the pedestal. The process took a few hours, starting at about 6 o'clock this morning. It's not easy to remove a gigantic statue, with dozens of people arriving here to see its removal from the start. It's been an emotional day for many on both sides of this issue. That has proven to be contentious in Kingston. Some feel it's a chance to start anew, while others are sad to see history be removed. Now, all, all of our First Nations people can walk by here and go... The city of Kingston did what's right for our people. I'm feeling betrayed by our council. I think this is a, a triumph of, of woke social activism over democracy. You can see the emotions that people are feeling on both sides. But overall, this has been a very peaceful process. Members who wanted to see the statue up did briefly stop it, but that was quickly cleared away by police and the two were allowed to stay in the park. Like I said, the statue will go into temporary storage next and the city hopes to eventually move it to his grave site, which sits just north of here in the coming weeks and months. Kimberly Johnson, CTV News, Kingston.